I don't know how much removing we're going to be doing. I think we might just end up folding it over. Because I don't want you, you don't want to see any of this shit, you know? Yeah, because then I'll just hammer all that stuff back. I'll hammer it in, that way it's still there. It's not even moving. I don't think our roll on the pinch idea is going to work. The whole pinch is separating. <laughs> Well, everything's cut, everything's trimmed. It was already cut and trimmed before, right? Um, now it's cut more. We didn't really get anything done. <laughs> we just cut a bigger hole. I have to get the wheel back on. I'm gonna put it on the ground and then that way it kind of tells me how far the wheel's gonna sit up inside of here. It gives me also an idea of like clearance and stuff too. Um, I have some sections of wheel tub that I'll use in the areas where it needs it. But realistically, this is gonna be the tub here. And then we'll end up probably just sheet metaling this and sheet metaling this and just finishing it off and making it look clean. So this will all be filler. But I really need to get the tub in first and kind of set there. Like this is, you gotta, you gotta make sure you do the stuff that's functional first and then all the beautiful stuff around it. So we'll make sure that it clears everything and everything's good. And then we'll go through and plate and finish everything else off. But I think the wheel tub will go here basically up to here, wherever the wheel starts to come into this, and then we'll just plate that thing up. And then down in here, same thing, I wanna do a piece that blends over this, so you won't see any of this on the inside of the wheel well. So it'll be plated over this, basically up to here. The wheel tub will collide into that, and then whatever gaps on the inside of the floor, we'll end up just plating that and plating all that stuff. I think that's probably the best bet. And I think I'm gonna do like what you said with the rods underneath for the transmission. Mm -hmm. Set those in and tack them in so that way when the cab comes off, I don't have to All right, it's been a minute. Um, uh, we just got back from LST last week and then I had to run back out to California for podcast stuff. Um, so I haven't filmed a lot at Pandas, but he's gotten a ton done. So we're heading over there now. Uh, so the enemies, I'm taking them apart. I'm a young boss, got me feeling like a pop. Think I never match it, think I never stop Cause I've been really giving everything that I got Cause I've been looking at the plan, let it pop Over with the killers, let me go into the top We're blowing up your city, yeah, you might get dropped Cause we are never quit, we are never get up So the enemies, I'm taking them apart I'm a young boss, got me feeling like a rock Think I never match it, think I never stop Cause I've been really giving everything that I got Cause I've been looking at the plan, let it pop Over with the killers, let me go into the top We're blowing up your city, yeah, you might get dropped Welcome. Welcome. Uh, this is our friend Jordan. He's going to be joining us today. We're going to have a quick little conversation about how life has been going working on this Tacoma. Welcome, Jordan. What is up? Um, yeah, so Tacoma. 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 Tacoma is the subject of today. Um, before Jordan worked here, he was not doing sheet metal stuff, and now he is. How do you like doing the sheet metal stuff? It's honestly not bad. I mean, it's just making sure it's not too hot, basically. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. Good. Uh, now cutting and stenciling and stuff isn't, it's not too hard, is it? Not necessarily. It's more of like, just take your time and do it right. Jordan is, uh, he's new to the mini truck scene. Uh, he's a youngster. He's, uh, he's gonna be making his debut here shortly. He has a Toyota that we're gonna be bagging and a body dropping. Let's keep him motivated. He's, uh, he's an up and comer for sure. Hopefully, yeah, for sure. He's doing really good at the shop. I, from teaching him, from like being not really knowing what's going on, he's doing really good. You can see in the back wall that he's been shaving himself that there's no warps, there's no issues, there's no nothing. He's cut a lot of the patterns in here and he's been welding a lot uh, on his own. And I've just been checking in, which is really cool. So it's working out pretty well. Thank you for helping me. Heck yeah, thanks man. Heck yeah, hopefully it gets done and looks good. <laughs> Oh, 
It was lunchtime. I didn't eat breakfast either. Go inside. She's just begging. It's like when I finish my lunch, I let her lick the inside of the, all the Tupperware and stuff, you know? Go. Go. So we narrowed one side of the housing. We did it like an old school way. We just used the axle shaft as like a guide. We got three eighths out of one side. So we're gonna do it to the other side and uh, hopefully it won't rub bed size anymore. Tips for tricks on narrowing an axle? Yeah, call me and I'll do it for you. There's no real tips or tricks, it just has to get narrowed, you know? It's kind of a wear mark right here. And this is what's inside the center section and this doesn't even slide inside of it. And then I checked that to make sure that the, uh, the race on the inside cleared this. So the center section ends here, like the splines, and then the outside race ends here. There's just enough to chop three eighths off it'll still work. So what are you going to name this video? Is it going to be how to? How not to? Oh, I saw a thing that said, uh, you'll get twice as many views if you put how to in the thing of your, uh, of your video. It's like rust that's like growing like, uh, what do they call it? Like stalactites. Stalact stalagmite. Like in a cave? Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's a new formation is what they call it, I think. <laughs> so I'm gonna line up those three lines right there and tack her in. You have a narrowed housing. You're gonna get a call from the EPA. This is just water in a can. Just water, folks? Just water. <laughs> Just compressed water in a thing. You know it's right when the dirt goes back together like that. Something we didn't think we were going to have to do was shorten the rear end, and now it's shortened. So it was definitely not in the playing cards, or definitely not in the cards, but it's done now. Trevor's got to leave in an hour. We're going to try to get the disc brakes done. Let's see if we can do it. Can we do it? For what? Can we do it? Yeah. In an hour? Oh, oh uh, yeah, we're gonna try. Fucking <laughs> guy. <laughs> Put them back in, right? Yeah, I was just gonna run with those. I mean they look fine, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Once you get rid of the the Can you just put it out in the rain? <laughs> this is grease. We'll just pack it back in there. <laughs> yeah, I worked at a diff shop for years and yeah, the best day, one of the best days of my entire life was emptying out that drawer of shirts and pants and throwing it away. No joke, like they would come out of the washer and dryer like just heavier. You would never get it on you, but it was just in the air. So it's like your clothes and your... So anytime I work with this shit, I'm just like... <laughs> it brings back memories. Uh, ready to go back together. Got the snap ring back on. Got the old uh, bearing back in there. Looks like it's all sealed up. Dang, look at that. Bolt it shut. I think that's it, right? We'll finish our hour tomorrow. <laughs> we almost made it an hour. It's, we actually didn't even get close, but we'll finish it tomorrow and we'll say it was an hour. Mash it up. Shit, we'll say it took us six minutes if we want. A few minutes later. Like pressed. Like oh yeah. Raised. Where do you get those? This is this a sticker or is it just a business card? It's well, a it's sticker. It's a sticker? Yeah. Sick. I wouldn't peel it yet. That's sick. Uh, little shop disc brake conversion for the Toyota pickups. That's how fancy it is, man. Like that ring. Has a notch for the pad. Boop. Done. Dude. Little shop, man. Killing it. Always though, he's always been killing oh, yeah, it. Oh for yeah, for sure. So. Even though <laughs> it's nothing. Instructions on the phone, we got this. Whoa. Perfect, or. Yeah, these new Curry axles are sick. Dutchman axle. Which, it really comes down to like, what font do you want? And it really comes down to it. You just put them all on there? 
Well, there's a lot of times that like when they send their axles, it comes with the tag. Yeah. And then I, when I put all the brackets on, I have to trim the tag. And a lot of times like somebody will be just, oh, I'll just leave it off. I usually put them back on, but over time you just start collecting them. It's that new Curry Toyota axle. See, they'll probably sue me if I weld this on here. Dude, I, I'm really happy we didn't, we didn't calculate caliper spacing into it at all. And I am glad that these, <laughs> it clears, but it fits and it looks really good. And I really hope that it works. The kit is gonna work. I mean the narrowing. The narrowing, hopefully it clears the bed sides. The goal is to have it to where it no longer pushes out. It might still touch, but as much space as we can get is what we're trying yeah. to go for. Yeah, you'll probably have to wait till the next, because we're not gonna put the bed on or anything right now, so you'll definitely have to wait till uh, to see if that happens. All Finish. right, update on the bed. Updates on the bed. The bed is here. The bed is started for sure. Um, the panels are in, most of the panels are in. We just gotta finish welding the panels and then smoothing some of the welds. And then um, the door is in, the hinges are on. We have to find some shocks that'll hold this beast of a door up. So where do we put the shocks at? Uh, I don't know, I was just gonna get them and basically just try from the center point, lay them down, you know? How heavy is it? not light no. by the way clay made straps yeah. for the gas tank thanks clay thanks clay once again coming through battery box battery is done boxes in. In. Right, if you want to buy battery boxes this is the d35 series battery box that we're going to be carrying um, it's the cheaper of the two versions so we made it a weld-in version not a bolt-in um, it's designed to hug around a 2x3 or 2x4 frame rail it drops underneath the chassis it holds in from the front Good to go. Go check the website. These will be on there today. The D35, the standard Optima batteries are already on the website. Go check them out. Pandasuspension.com. Buy them. We'll get them shipped in the next like two weeks. We got two weeks till forbidden. We don't do crunches, but this is our crunch. Yeah. So you'll know if we made it because it'll be at the show. Don't forget, you're watching Grinder TV. So taking these parts over, running them over to matter or powder coating, I was just going to do everything black, but I decided to contrast it up a little bit. Why not? Uh, Matador is just not too far from here. Um, he's the one that did the wheels, powder coated the wheels. So um, they're going to, like he said, they're going to get it all prepped and paint the frame. And then um, we're going to get the bed back on it and make, and hopefully cross fingers that uh, we took enough out for the wheels not to hit the bedsides. So we'll, that'll be uh, interesting to see if we did all that work or Panda did all that work and uh, they still hit. So, because when you put disc brakes, um, when you do a disc brake conversion on the back, usually it adds a little bit, not a lot, but the thickness of the rotor um, and the thickness of, is a little bit thicker than the actual drum. So anyways, uh, it'll be at Forbidden Fantasy in Laughlin in the grinder TV booth and uh, to show off kind of the progress from the last one. And then we'll bring it back and figure out what the next step is. Uh, we did figure out some, uh, as far as like the, we're, I was trying to figure out like the master cylinder um, problem. We figured it out. You'll see what we got next episode. Um, if you guys want any merch, if you made it all the way to here, if you guys want merch, we do have it up on the website and um, all that good stuff, so. Yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, bye. Never gonna change, never gonna switch. So many games, y'all, me, bitch. Sticking at the pay, you'll be getting rich. But I'm listening.